Welcome back. While working with linear equations, it's important to note that the equations can be written in different ways and in different forms. So we're going to take a look at the first one today, called standard form. The general equation looks like this. AX plus BY equals C. Let's talk about the details of it. The A, the B, and the C are called parameters. And a parameter is a fancy word for saying that it's a real number. It's established by the equation. So these are not variables. They will be an actual number when you're given the equation. Variables are x and y are points that make this equation true. So we've been working with these variables from the beginning. Note that the parameters must be whole numbers, so not fractions. 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6. Nice counting numbers. Here's some examples. 2x minus 3y is 14. That works. They're whole numbers. Negative 19x plus 13y equals 0. 0 is okay. And so is negative 19. So these are excellent examples of equations in standard form. How about some non-examples? What does not work? Point 0.4x. That point 0.4 is what makes this a non-example. That's a decimal. Decimals and fractions cannot be a parameter. Also the second one, 4y minus uh, equals negative 5x plus 6. This is a non-example because x and y are separated by the equal sign. Well, if you look at the general equation, x and y are on the same side. So there's been some manipulation done, and that's no longer in standard form. Here's the equation in standard form. x plus 3y equals 3. All we need to do to graph this is the same we've always been doing. Plug in our input values with a given domain for x. Let's try the first one. We're going to plug in negative 1. I'm going to plug that in for x right down here. Negative 1. And let's rewrite it over the graph here so I have some more room. Negative 1 plus 3y is equal to 3. All we have to do now is solve for y. Add 1 to both sides. 3y is equal to 4. Divide both sides by 3. y is equal to 4 thirds, which is what? 1 and 1 third? So we'll plug that in and plot our point. There it is, 4 thirds and your point negative 1 and 4 thirds. We'll plug in 0. That makes the entire x term disappear. You get 3y equals 3. Divide both sides by 3. y is equal to 1. There's your point at 0, 1. If you plug in 1, you'll get 2 thirds. Plot that point. Plug in 2, you'll get 1 third. And plot that point. And if you plug in 3, you'll get a value of 0. And you can plot that point. If you're not sure how any of these work, go ahead and take a minute and plug them in and try to solve this on paper. Once your points are plotted, you can connect the dots. So the exact same process we've been doing for the last couple of days. Just some quick reminders and things to remember right now. We've been using the t-chart to find multiple points. You can use that on equations of any format. However, it's worth recalling, it only takes two points to graph a line. We've been doing a lot more than is needed. This is especially helpful when making graphs quickly. Let's go back and take a look at the example we just did. See how maybe we could save a little bit of time. So the equation was x minus 3y is equal to 3. The idea we're going to apply here is called an intercept. An intercept is where the line crosses or intercepts with the axes. Remember, there's two axes. You have the x-axis, which runs left to right. And you have the y-axis, which runs up and down. Let's start by talking about the y-axis. We're looking for where the line crosses it. So this animation right there. The blue and gold lines cross at which point? 0, 1. 0, 1 is what we call the y-intercept. It's where the line intercepts the y-axis. There's also another intercept. Right 
right there. The line intercepts the x-axis at the point 3 comma 0. So we call an x-intercept. Let's take a closer look at these points. The x-intercept, the example we just had was 3 comma 0. Notice the 0 is in the y position. The number 3 is in the x position. So an intercept would look something like x comma 0. So some number where the line crosses the x-axis, comma 0. x is present. x is in the point because it is the x-intercept. y is 0. I care about the x number for the y-intercept. The example we had was 0 comma 1. 0 is in the x position here. The number 1 is in the y position. Same concept. This time x is 0 and you have a y value. y is present in the y-intercept because, well, it's just that. It's the y-intercept. We want the y value. So long as you remember what the format of the x-intercept is and what the format of the y-intercept is, then you'll be in good shape. And we can use these two points to plot lines quickly, especially when we're given in standard form. So here's another example. It's in standard form. Negative 3x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. We only need two points on our t-chart. The first one, which is set up for the y-intercept, because we want a y-number. And the second one, which is set up for an x-intercept, because we want an x-number. So all we have to do is plug in zeros, and that's quite nice to do. First one, the x value is 0. So we'll come down to our equation. Instead of x, we plug in 0. I want to know what is y. 3 times 0 is 0, so that entire term disappears. You get 2y equals negative 6. If you divide both sides by 2, you'll find that y is equal to negative 3. All we have to do is plug that point into our table and plot the point over in the graph. 0, negative 3, this is a y-intercept. You're on the y-axis. Let's try the next one. Plug in 0 for y this time. x is my unknown. 2 times 0 is 0. So you get negative 3x equals negative 6. If I divide both sides by negative 3, you'll find that x is equal to positive 2. Plug that into your t-chart. Plot your point. Here it is on the right. Over 0 up 2. x-intercept is on the x-line, so it fits. Again, it only takes two points to make a line. We have the two points, so there's our line. So from this example, we can see that the power of having an equation in standard form is that all you need to do is plug in 0 for a y-intercept or plug in 0 for an x-intercept. Simply plugging in 0 saves us a little bit of time making a larger t-chart. Gives us two nice intercepts with much simplified problem-solving processes. Anytime you see standard form, remember, plug in zero to get your intercepts.